Hello and welcome to Glaswegian Geeks. Uh, today we have me, Ma me, Matthew, and Mario. And today we are following on from our last sort of wee stint and doing the news. Yes, yes, yes. This is number two, isn't it? Yeah. Or it should be number two. It is Hope news it's number two. two. It's the second one I'm in anyway. Yes, it is. So it's only when it counts. Uh, oh, <laughs> James has just left and you've already shot in his like, metaphorical grave. Well, someone's got to, you know, apply a bit more sass into it now. Yeah, very true. There's the not enough left. sass in this. But, uh, yeah, we're doing the news today, Matt. Aye, news, yes. I know. What's our first story? Right, so, first story, uh, it kind of took Instagram and Twitter by storm, was... I think uh, the whole world. Aye, whole world, aye, but they, they were the two main outlets, oh. I think. Um, it was the reveal of Cable's costume for yes. the Deadpool 2 movie. And also Domino's as well, which was yep. a wee bit earlier, which had a wee bit of controversy with it as well, I think. Yeah. That's People just... Y you're always going to find controversy. Aye. Like, I remember when the uh, first X-Men movie came out that the black costume was getting a bit panned, but then again, I think it was just a year or two after that came out that Grant Morrison actually carried that over to his new X-Men title, and it kind of worked. So, uh, you know, if it works, it works. Yeah, like, even, I'm pretty sure the creator, I don't know, I can't remember the name of the creator, but on Twitter, he, he agreed with it, he said it looked amazing. I think so Rob, Rob Liefeld? I think it was, yes. Yeah. He said it looked brilliant, like, so, if you if the creator says it's brilliant, obviously, you've got to kind of, yeah, he's, yeah. he's the man that came up with it. Then again, he can't draw hands or feet. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Mm. Uh, all that's really, uh, here's the thing, I like the gun and cable, though. Oh, yeah. Like, I would love to see a big, massive, like, bazooka-style uh, rifle, but practical, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Only, as I said, the only sort of change that I would have made to the costume, me being, like, you know, a cosplayer or not, would possibly be, because he's in a, a sort of khaki t-shirt, see if you change that a blue t-shirt, it'll be almost comic book accurate. And some pouches. Aye, some pouches. Some pouches I mean, he's already got, pad. he's got the teddy bear and everything, though, in the photo. Like, if you haven't no and this, this uh, in the photo, it is a CGI arm, apparently. It doesn't look CGI. It looks like something you could actually throw together, I could easily throw together, and I'm planning on doing it. I think it. you need to, you know, just it's a made my bit grey on your hair and that shoe. Aye. I'm going. I'm going like white. I'm going. I'm, it I'm going white at some point. Like not, not, not in the drugs way. Like you <laughs> know, but China white. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're both looking forward to this. Uh, so second is the uh, the Inhumans and their unfinished CGI. Oh uh, like Jesus! The the trailer did look a little bit shit, iffy, to be honest. And it's left us very unimpressed, to be honest. It's the fact that it says that they've released the trailer and it's unfinished CGI. Like, that just... Like, obviously, they have been listening to what everybody's been saying by the sounds of it. Yeah. But why release it if it was unfinished? Like, you know? Well... Like, if it was that badly unfinished, like, how much more have they got to do with it? Because it's going to take a good bit of work. It's the only thing, obviously, everybody's been... Everybody has seen it. I think the only thing everybody... Re the only reason anybody's going to watch it is purely because of Lockjaw, because he looks amazing in CGI. Yeah. Which, if you don't know, Lockjaw is like a teleporting bulldog that is... A, like the size of a like brick shit house. Aye. You could f you you would need a garage for him, oh, pretty aye, much. But like, you couldn't stick him in like one of the ones that pets at home. Like you know? the f the, f the food bills alone would like break you. Aye, just saying. But uh, yeah, th this happened a few years ago with the Green Lantern movie, where they released a trailer at Comic Con, and fans were so unimpressed. Uh, DC went back and had to reshoot, uh, redo the CGI, and it, I think it was they spent another five or. I think it was five, because I was going to say 50 there. But I want to say I have a good five million redoing the Aye. CGI, which, you know, like a movie that's heavily reliant on CGI, a show that is also going to be reliant on CGI, I would say they kind of need to, especially yeah. Medusa's here. Aye, like... I don't even know what else to say about it. Like, I'm, I want to be excited about it. Like, I'm Inhumans, it. Inhumans I'm, I'm is one of the... It's good. Inhumans is one of the stories from like the Fantastic Four that got me into comics. Yeah. Like when I was wee, because it was on like, the Fantastic Four cartoon. So like I wanted to do good, but at the same time, obviously my expectations are going to be really high for it because I'm, I'm uh, it's one of the early comics that I ever read. Uh, so I here's hoping it's good, but yeah. at the same time, like let's also be wary of what 
could possibly happen <laughs> with it because like, we've had this many times in, the, in this fandom, yeah, especially yeah. the Green Lantern. <sighs> like CGI can make and break a show. Yeah. Like like some some uh, bad CGI actually looks good in a cheesy way. Yeah, but if it's like downright terrible, <sighs> it, it, it it might only last this season. Then it's like back to the drawing board yeah. and stuff. So, number three on the list is yes. Miller World. Yes. Which has been bought by Netflix. Yes. Yeah, a uh, fellow Coke Bridging. Yeah. I'm, I'm for Coke Bridge. So is Mark Miller. That's my claim to fame. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Miller World has been bought by Netflix, which I'm hoping to God that there's either a straight to Netflix TV movie, uh, uh, net TV show or movie. That there's a straight to Netflix movie of Nemesis or a series. Like as soon as I read Nemesis, I was like, "Why has why hasn't this been fucking made yet?" Like it, it's like a white suited Batman who just wants to kill people, and for no other reason than he can. Also, like that also means possibility yes. of there's a revival of Kick-Ass, maybe? Yeah. Right? Not that Kick-Ass needs a revival, because obviously those two movies are pretty not bad, yeah. but like it would be cool to see Kick-Ass as like, a TV show, like going a bit more yeah. detail than cover more, more stuff episodic, than it. like the comics. And also, with that, I know they kind of tied in uh, the, the Hit-Girl series with Kick-Ass 2, but maybe a Hit-Girl series. Or even a Hit-Girl standalone. Oh, wait there. What about getting Nicolas Cage back to be Big Daddy oh, with, yes. with a new uh, cast for Hit Girl herself? Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be kick-ass. Hey! <laughs> and also, there's other titles associated with that. Uh, you've got Wanted. You've got... Uh, Superior as well. Is Superior, as well? yes. Superior. Uh, if, if they don't make something with that, they're doing something wrong. Yeah. And also, your favourite? Oh, I, I Kingsman is doing pretty well right now, isn't it? Yeah. Like, the new the second one is out at either the end of this month or start of next month. Yep. Um, so, obviously, I don't know what they will be doing. Obviously, I'm assuming that means that it will be on Netflix pretty close to when, oh it been, when obviously, it gets released. On maybe maybe it'll be it. a kind of thing where, oh, the, uh, the DVD's out X month, but get it a Netflix month is earlier, earlier aye. on Netflix. So, they're obviously going to... Ho- hopefully making a bit of money out of that but oh like yeah. means we'll get to see it a wee bit earlier yeah again possibly yes, um, Kingsman's obviously one of the ones we're hoping to do in the future as well yep. um, so if you haven't seen Kingsman watch the first one before you go see the second one because you rate the first one very highly I rate the first one in my top five movies of all time right now nice. like that's how good it is but I, I, I grew up with all the James Bond movies and all that so like it's it's like a newer, up to date version of James Bond, with you know, Cockneys and stuff. So can't nice. complain. Yeah, uh, can. and Samuel Jackson is a villain in it. So aye, what's not to love? Get it watched. Uh, that takes us into another little bit of movie news with uh, Silver and Black getting a release date February ninth, two thousand nineteen. Which, yes. if you're not in the know, is the Spider Man spin off of Silver Sable and Black Cat, which came to me as a bit of a surprise, because I hadn't even heard about this being in the yes. works or anything. Um, I don't know if it was maybe listed at Comic-Con or something like that, that I've missed, but... I, d- I honestly don't remember seeing I it haven't heard up. I haven't heard any trace of a Black Cat movie, or yeah. even Silver Sable, so... Well, I, I'm excited for this, because it is a female-heavy uh, movie. Like, you've got two female leads. Yes. What? That, like... Well, they I th- I think obviously... Marvel's so Marvel's picking up from the success of what DC done with yeah, Wonder, with Wonder Woman, Woman. Obviously, how, so how can you how can you like bypass Wonder Woman? Aye. Like that is like the success of that has really I think changed the landscape of comic book movies where they're going oh wait there girls like mo- girls like comic book yes. movies yes well that's which the is thing, fully like acceptable yeah oh, Marvel get your shit together well I think <laughs> they've been slowly introducing stuff but. I think their major downfall was not doing a Black Widow movie. Yeah. Like, even as... Keep it low budget. But, you know, they're they're catching up eventually. It's not to say Marvel doesn't have, you know, good female heroes. Like, look at Gamora and Guardians. uh, Gamora, 
you've got Storm from X Men yes. and stuff, Jean Grey, you know. Like you you do have a lot of female major Aye. characters, but it's only the males that seem to drop dropping the ball. Aye. Right, so next up, um which also kinda ties in with one of our previous podcasts yeah. that you should definitely listen to. Carl Urban is in talks of possibly joining the Dread TV show that's in the world. Yes! Works. I'm absolutely chuffed and excited. And I hope this isn't just a little bit of a fluff piece to, like, spice it up. Like, oh, look at the interest in this. We're, we're in talks with Carl Urban. I'm pretty sure that this guy loves this role. And Aye. he sees the fans that want to see him reprise the role again. And he's just like, okay, I've... I don't think he'd like to sell himself short and un- uh, like undercut his pain, whatever, because the guy is a great actor. Uh, I just hope, I hope to God that they get him because this could really make him break it. And also, if they tie in with the Dread movie, mm-hmm. that would be pretty fucking amazing. It definitely. Um, also, it helps because like, I remember like way back... Well, I say way back, it's probably about two years ago, Max. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there was talks of him being, like, maybe thinking about, instead of doing a Dread sequel, doing a Dread TV show, and he was kind of on board with it, but he was also, because he, he would just come off the set of doing that Almost Human yeah, TV show he yeah. did, he says it was really tiring doing that, so he wasn't 100% sure if he would want to do it for Dread, because obviously he'd be knackered, and he yeah. didn't know if he would be able to put his whole sort of... No. But by the sounds of it, he's hopefully come around to the side that we want him to be on. I, I would like to think that Mega City 1 will be kind of like an anthology show Aye. of the Dread universe. And you, you essentially don't need Judge Dread in every part of it. Yeah, This could be like, uh, we'll focus on Judge Anderson for an episode. We'll focus on other judges. We'll focus on mutants. We'll focus on ABC the ABC Warriors as well. Yeah. That like could be a possibility. And, and all you need is maybe like, a scene of dread and each one to tie it together, you know. Yeah. You you don't need them, you know. Use them sparingly, and m- maybe it'll work. Yeah. Maybe it'll work that way. I don't see like any major way that after obviously dread the way they worked that out. Obviously that was a a box office movie. Oh aye. But so the budget will be a good bit different. But like I don't see if they do use Carl Urban, I don't see how they could fail to be honest. Yeah. Like because he is definitely he's willing to put it down the work in, he's willing to do the research on the character as well, by the looks of it. So, because he, he knew exactly the way we wanted, he wasn't going to take it any way different. Yeah. So, we do, he does know what he's talking about. Like, Dread wasn't a success in the cinema, but yeah. it was more of a success once it hit DVD and uh, home release, where people actually started drawing eyes towards it and going, oh, wait there, this is actually pretty good. It's like, shame on you for not going to the cinema and paying money to watch this. And there was people well, I was pointing to everybody that had never heard of Dread. Oh, I know, just like, tell everybody. have you seen Dread? <laughs> what do you mean, you've not seen Dread? I know, you've, oh, you've, seen, you? you've seen Stallone one? No, mind wipe, you motherfucker. Shunned. Uh, this one's a little bit tough, Matt. Next one. The trailer for Batman vs. Two-Face was released. And it's the final ever performance of Batman by Adam West. Yeah. But we shouldn't really be sad about it because oh, he got to do what he loved right up until that's the That's the thing. It, you know? It, he was he that was role for so long. He was the Dark Knight. He was a, bri- he was a bright knight. He was always the Dark Bright Knight. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, this is the thing, like, how can you hate Adam West? Like, you all can. right, the, the, the role that he done is his portrayal was Batman suited that era. It was very cheesy, tongue in cheek. It saved the comedic. Batman comics as well. Yeah. Like, because Batman was on the verge of, or DC was on the verge of oh. going bankrupt at the time, and then they brought out the show, and apparently comics surged. Yeah. It's also, like, I know how you feel because, like, I was watching that, I think it's Powerless. That, yeah. that TV show, I was watching it on Showbox the other day, and I was just, because I wasn't really sure about it, I thought I'd watch it, I heard the thing of Vanessa Van Hutchinson when it was in it, so I was like, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to like <laughs> this. You know, I was, I was thinking this is going to be her singing and shit, but like, you know, it was actually not, it was actually a not bad watch, Um, and then on the final episode, Adam West turns up, Oh. and it was like, oh, because that, that only ran for 10 episodes yeah. before it got obviously cancelled, because it's, M- yeah, yeah, it was NBC, NBA, yeah. NBC, NBC, aye. So, like, it was really sad to see him on it, but at the same time, he was playing 
um, I think it was Director West. Yeah. And he came from Gotham and whatnot. And he, it was <laughs> it was genuinely it was like watching him be Batman all over again. It was so nice. And it was I know that ha- that was only released a couple of weeks before he, he yeah. passed on, obviously. But it was it was a really sad moment, but at the same time you were so happy to kinda of see him again, sort of thing. So I hope this is gonna be the same. Obviously it will be the same. Yeah, it will be the same. Plus you've got uh, William Shatner as Two Face. That's gonna be cool. Like You've got two like heavyweight actors that are of the same sort that, of time. That, yeah, same Aye. time uh, time period where they I would say hit their peaks, you know. Aye. And two 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 amazing actors like William Shatner, as much as people rip the piss out him for his brew of Captain Cook. <laughs> like uh everyone does it ev- everyone's got a West and a Kirk. Come on, you know. a a a, a West Batman, you know. But like, I think this will be really special. Like, it's fine, it won't pick up. Like, this will be something absolutely special, and I hope it really does well. I know it's going to be, a, like, straight to DVD. Like, Aye. that that's the thing. DC are really good with their uh, animation stuff. Aye. And I fingers crossed that people pick this up because I think they deserve to see Adam West perform as uh, Batman once. For for one final time, yeah. Uh, carrying on with the sort of Batman theme, uh, there's been an announcement that they've had to tone down uh, Zack Snyder's cut Ooh. of Justice League, which yeah. means that it's a- a- apparently the rumours are that it's, it's too dark. <laughs> just oh, now. hold on. I thought DC were going with. I the know. Oh, we're very serious. I reckon this is the We are so serious. We're killing people. We're annihilating half of Metropolis. I thought it was. Yeah. Because here, here's one critique I will... Uh, maybe, it, hold on, maybe it's to throw in some, you know, light somewhere. Uh, just, you know, some Maybe some Green Lanterns green light. Uh, uh, no, nah, <laughs> p- probably not, but <laughs> <laughs> we can wish. Uh, I'll, I'll give my critique of this, right? Like, there's one guy in my work. I've given him Marvel books before. I've, I've offered to give him Marvel books, and all he goes is, Oh, I used to read Marvel as a child. Uh, it was more aimed at children. It and was. And, it and was. oh, I, I cannot... Here's another thing which is kind of stupid. Oh, if I take it and I like it, I'll feel the need to buy it. Well, I. Well, that's yeah, you, you buy things that you like. That's yes. how things work. That, that, that's life. You know? So, like... How do you even adult? Yeah. <laughs> and the... Oh, DC is a very serious, real world, blah, blah, blah. And Who I'm wants to be in a serious, real world the whole time? But, like, I know. You need a bit of fun he in there. A bit of here's, here's the thing. Like, you know. Do you want Lord of the Rings in a real world? Like, walking from, say, Glasgow City Centre to Mary Hillmark to drop the ring in the fiery pits of. Pendles? Aye. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Do I've, you I've done that. Like, I've done that walk. <laughs> Did it take you? One does not did simply did walk into Mary Hill. Did, did it, it take you nine hours? Feel it fucking nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, James. Uh, but yeah, like I think you you do need some light-hearted stuff to take away from all the doom and gloom. Let's let's be honest. You go to watch stuff, and something that's very very serious and dark. Like even horror movies have their like light-hearted bits. Like, like look at Nightmare on Elm Street. How many times does Freddy do, like, a sick joke? Like, the one, my go-to favourite line is, how's this for a wet dream? And that's in <laughs> the first ten minutes of Nightmare 4. Oh, class. I know, it is, you, you can't, you, you just go, there isn't actually a better line than that. Yeah. But yeah, you, like, even horror movies have their light-hearted tone in it, so... Also, like, from the trailers that we've seen so far, everything looks pretty light-hearted. Yeah! So how dark is this movie? I know. Are we like, just seeing the fun side of it all? Because, like... <laughs> to be honest, I, I get why they would need to make Aquaman a good bit darker because not everybody takes Aquaman seriously, yeah. right? But here's the not thing. to say he's not a good hero. He's like, got the best lines in the trailers. I by looks it, man. I can't wait for this. Like, like he actually has the funniest lines in the trailers, oh. and then he's riding on top of the Batmobile, like, yeah, like a bloody Dothraki, like he should do, Aye. right? You know, come on. I, I think <laughs> your your main female uh, audience for Justice League is going to be made up of Game of Thrones fans and Wonder Woman fans. He's Fuck that off. he's that good. I'm I'm actually genuinely thinking of getting a Jason Momoa action figure to push my fi- put my fish tank. Do that. I'm going to. 
fucking do that. I have, I I have suggested it to Susie, like who's thinking about birthday, getting... I will buy you. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I just want I Just, want just an the cheaper one, not the 40 quid one. I want an army of them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I want Aquaman, I want Mera, I want everything. Let's go mental. Yeah. Like, but DC do have very dark movies. Like, let's look at it. Man of Steel. Batman. Pretty fucking dark. Yes. Uh, BVS. Pretty fucking dark. Yeah, Suicide Squad was pretty dark. Uh, what else is there? That was that. Was that? Wonder that Woman? Wonder Woman? Yeah. Like, Wonder Woman was dark as well as, let's face it, it was in World of War 1. You know, Aye. Like, what, I mean, what, what's happy about war, let's be honest? True. <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting there going like... I'm, like, I'm generally trying to think of an argument here, but I can't think of one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that... Uh, the, it should be fun. Like, Aye. if you go to... S- to see a movie and it's just sh- like dark and shit you're just like coming out going I feel like I need a wash after that I like feel like you should put the brightness up on the screen a little bit sometimes I know. as well I know <laughs> <laughs> right so lastly yeah so this is you, you lead because I'm going to I'll like, lead this I'm, I'm, I'm opening a can of pass on this <laughs> right so for those that are reading I'm sure it's Batman now uh, is it, it's is it? in the casting the now uh, you see Duke Thomas in the casting yep. for DC Metal Dark Days. Right. And so you have seen him in Batman, but he's, if I remember right, he's only been in a kind of yellow costume, but it's a, it's a, it's a sort it's of crash like helmet. It's a motorcycle thing. helmet, Aye. you know. Um, so Duke Thomas is like basically Batman's new sort of sidekick that isn't a Robin. It's a yeah. sort of new thing DC are doing or making sure the next, you know, teenage... Kid yeah, that like Batman takes like under his wing they're isn't going to be they're just they're a copy of... They're new kid audience. Aye. It's to help, like, kind of revamp it a wee bit, I think. Yeah. Um, not that there is anything wrong with Robin, but... Um, aye, so Duke Thomas is basically Batman's new sidekick, and they've given him, by the looks of it, as a new upgrade to his suit. Yeah, and they, and they gave him a kind of... They gave him a name in DC uh, Dark Days of Casting. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was kind of like... I think it was actually the Joker that said it. Uh, like a signal, Aye. and they like played it, and this is uh, in the new comic coming out. It's Batman and the signal, and what the signal is is doesn't kind of like a daytime Batman. Aye. Doesn't roll off the tongue as good as Robin, though, does it? Nah. <laughs> here's the thing. I will back you up on Robin on this, and only this point. For only this. But uh, yeah, the costumes all yellow, with a bat symbol in the front with. Some kind of black side bits on yeah. the ribs. And. Pretty familiar to someone from a, well, another sort of universe, isn't yes. it? Yes. Someone that is, you know, dead right now in another sort of Marvel mm-hmm. universe. With uh, a face mask that resembles Wolverine. Which I am pretty sure you've seen the last time that I went, you went to my house that yes. I had actually made the exact same yeah, thing. Before this was even out, should, should I, I get money for this? Let's, let's be honest. I think they've got cameras in your house, mate. They've nicked it, man. They've totally they nicked it off me. Have. But uh, yeah, DC have basically copied this costume the, from like, Wolverine. From it Wolverine. is fucking like DC's classic, Wolverine, yellow, but without the claws. Wolverine. But uh, yeah. This, oh. this is this is fucking dangerous territory. Like it's not. See, to be honest, this isn't the first time that. De- not, 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 it's not the first time the that Marvel and DC have stole from each other. Not so much that. It's not. So mu- this is the first. This isn't the first time a, 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 a Bat Family character has nicked something from Wolverine. Okay. In the new Teen Titans, Damien is running about with claws and his and his gloves. Oh. Three claws. I shit you not, right? And I'm. I, everybody knows me. I fucking love Damien Wayne. But don't be biting off Wolverine, right? Like, like that's just that's biting off more than you can chew. Aye, like you don't fucking do that. Like you've seen Duke Thomas in a costume before, and it's been a kind of all yellow and kind of motorcycle style helmet, almost Aye. like the Red Hoods. Was, yes, but a brighter version of the Red Hood, obviously a yellow. Uh, this is this this is basic like stealing for Wolverine. Yeah. It's, it's really close. I, I, w- I would be happy if they just kept the original concept design of the oh. costume for Duke Thomas. Even even if they were to upgrade it, like, don't upgrade it to make it look like... Make it an individual sort of thing. Have a wee bit of imagination. Yeah. Stop, like, trying to nick from each other sort of thing. Like, not saying, like, don't use certain ideas, ideas or things. Like, and whatnot. Look, use look, it look at, look at Deadpool. Uh, he's a, almost a copy of Deathstroke. 
he has a good grant copy of it. I know. Was it, was it not a pure parody yeah. at first? Sort of yeah. Aye. So, like, it like, that, like, each... I'm not saying DC are the only culprit, okay? Marvel have done it as well and stuff, and everyone's... Every other one's nicked little bits off this so-and-so, but... Come on to fuck, man. Like, this is basic copying. Aye. Like, yeah, maybe they came up with a design, like, oh, we want this to be a, like, a daytime Batman. Well, give him a, a yellow, like, ears and stuff. Don't give him, like, don't Aye. add the black in where it actually what, stands see, out. See, when you look at it, like, from, like, the early Batman stuff, like, the 1980s stuff and all that. That's yeah. Early, that's not early. That's Aye, mid season. That but, yeah. like, obviously Batman used to run about black and yellow. But this way, it looks like a reverse of that. That's what they've obviously went yeah. for. But the way that they've coloured it looks exactly like Wolverine. I know. And it's not... Well, I'm not going to say it's not good. It does look pretty cool. Oh, it looks cool. But at cool the same time, it also, as soon as you look at it, you think Wolverine. So it's not yeah. like you're trying to cover it up. There's like it's they've, like they've only made it worse by adding the black on the mask. That's, yeah, that's the thing. That's the only thing that would... Because the rest of it is essentially the same costume, just a bit more detail. Yeah. The, the mask is the only thing that looks like it's properly changed and it's the thing that everybody's kind of picking up on, which, you know, like everybody's always first to jump in when Marvel do it to about a DC thing, so this is kind of like their reverse sort of thing. Yeah. So it's obviously it's something that's going to continue to happen, but at the same time... Unfortunately. Like, it's happened. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, yeah, that's been our news for the... Uh, for, well, for the... Last couple of weeks and stuff, you know. Well, it's pretty much covered as much as we can just now, anyway. Yeah. Haven't, uh, gone, haven't gone too long, have If we? you like our stuff, you know where to find us on Facebook and Twitter. Just have a wee look for Glaswegian Geeks. You can find our uh, audio stuff over at iTunes and SoundCloud. Just have a wee search for Glaswegian Geeks. And we've got some of our podcasts on YouTube. As, uh, if you search for Glaswegian Geeks. And we will also be having some video content added on there very shortly as well. Aye. And also, if you like Ripped Apparel, and you liked geek culture, tees, hoodies, coasters, posters, the whole shebang, have a wee search for whatever you want, add it to your cart and add Glaswegian Geek... Glaswegian Geeks. No spaces. Glaswegian Geeks. Aye. Geeks, what the hell's that? Geeks. Shite. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Glaswegian shites <laughs> yeah add Glaswegian geeks uh, as a promo code to save yourself 10% because why wouldn't you yeah, treat yourself go on I know treat yourself on you go you deserve it thank you for listening and geek out